Coming into the final stretch, y'all. So you know how we do. We finna get into it, but first, intro. Yo, it's me, your boy, JJV. What is good, Cree Squad fam, Saint Squad, and Goo Squad fam, and of course, Great White Gang. It is your boy, Jason JV, saying welcome to another review video. And yes, yes, y'all, this is part three of the conversation between Adam Calhoun and Triple T, along with Alpha Tyler. And uh, yeah, as I mentioned in the opening bumper, this is the final stretch. So let's not waste any more time, y'all. Let's go ahead and just jump right into this dang thing. But I can hear, hear. Oh, your boy is slipping, man. I forgot my headphones. Breath. It's been a minute since I've done that. But anyway, all right, now that we all set, like the hit hit. I, I worry about death. That's what I worry about because all the Don't. better Don't, because here's the thing. The day but, you're born and the day you die, that's already been written in stone. There's nothing right. you can do to change but it. Th that's what I was trying to say earlier is like, I'm, a, and this is real. I, I have a severe problem with, that's all I think about because all the men in my family at, at the age that they've passed, and why they passed all the same thing, all, all the same, all exactly the same things, all the heart shit. And uh, so when I said earlier, like, we're talking about life. Motherfuckers are talking about, I'm scared of this person, scared of, motherfucker, <laughs> scared, <laughs> scared of a person? No, no. That ain't, that's not a thing with me. Just like it's not a thing with Tim, just like I'm sure it's not a thing with Tyler. I'm talking to reasonable men here. I'm a reasonable man. I have been an unreasonable man, man also, and I'm not, and I'm still. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm, I'm still. Just me being on here. I know I shouldn't be on here saying all these things. I know people are gonna pick this shit apart. I don't give a fuck anymore, bro. I don't. And he's not wrong. Ever since this conversation, there have been people, you know, picking this apart, and still trying to paint uh, a cow in the, into a negative light. You know what I mean? And still picking teams like oh i'm team team up church all day and everything it's like if if you're still you know one of those people that is that is still picking a cal apart and you're all up on team up church and you truly don't have a full grasp you can't fully comprehend uh what is truly going on you know what i'm saying i mean this is deeper than just some silly beef you know what i'm saying um and it's not even a real beef. It's a fake beef. So why are we choosing sides? You know what I'm saying? But um, anyway, if you can't look, you know, deeper into that, that says a lot, a lot more about you than it does anyone else. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying. Anyway. I don't care. I don't. Fuck the internet. Fuck this music. Fuck it all. Take it all away from me. I, I already won in life. I got to raise my son. I yep. have my children. I don't give a fuck. All the people that live under my household are all Calhouns for the first time in my entire fucking life. So See, so this sounds like to me that this is a man who has his priorities in mind. This is a man who's got all his priorities straight. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't care about his career right now. He cares about his family. He cares about his children. People still want to paint him up as something negative, something dark, something evil. That's wrong. So you, you, you guys are going to sit here and threaten me with some fucking dude, some kid on the fucking internet? Get the fuck out of here. I fucking clawed my way through fucking life, through shit. Yeah. And, and yeah, yeah, Tim, you're, you came in hot with the prison shit. Yeah, I went to prison. That shit sucked. Mm -hmm. And even though I only was there for a little over a year and a half, that shit, it, it, it's something that I'll never forget. It, it's it's something that, and, and it, it doesn't make me tough. It doesn't make me a tough guy. It, 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 it's just something that, that I experienced that, 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 I, that changed my life. Uh, just like I said the other day, well, whatever, I can say a lot, but my basic point is I said everything, I believe I've said everything I could possibly say. Uh, again, these diss tracks, I don't fucking know, dog. I don't know. I have, I don't know. I don't fucking know where that came from. I think I know. I, I've, I've been thinking about it for, like I said, the last two or th however many months it's been. I think. And to a cow's point, I, I think I have an idea too. I just don't want to say out loud because, you know, I could be wrong. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, um, I have my own suspicions as to where that could have came from. But anyway, I think I know from what person that came from, but I, I, I don't know for sure. But if you're going to tell, talk about me doing diss tracks, motherfucker, 
multiple diss tracks, I would remember that. That that's impossible. And then all the people who said I recorded diss tracks at Ryan's studio, what? And how would that be possible? I mean, if these are diss tracks towards Ryan. Would Ryan's team really help Acal record these diss tracks against Ryan at Ryan's studio? Please make that make sense. There's no way that makes any kind of real logical sense. Some of these people I don't think have a brain cell in their fucking head. They don't. Yeah, it's possible. And then all the people, well, why didn't you just call him instead of going on the internet? and t- Dude, you don't think I've tried to call him? You don't think I've been to his house? When he's talking about pulling up in my gate, un- unwelcome, blah, blah. Yeah, I've done that. I've done that. Uh, speaking of that, can you confirm or deny if Mises has ever been to Ryan's house? He was at... What, I don't think he was at Ghost Ranch, but he was at the house before that. I know that for a fact. Okay. I'm not sure about Ghost Ranch, but I know... I mean, he's been in the studio with us. Uh, he's been at uh, Creeker Fest with... I mean, he's got he's got videos and pictures and all types of shit with Ryan. And you know that's a fact because Mises put out his receipts video. For the record, for anybody clipping this later, I didn't say that. He did. Who's he? Tim. He Me. brought that up. I didn't bring I that, that up. up. I don't. I don't. And that's another thing. Why is that such a big fucking deal? If I don't. I don't. Because people on the internet are dumb, dog. Like, like, no. And, yeah. no, and it's no offense to anybody, but like, straight up, like, because Ryan says it didn't happen. Like, it, Ryan it, said but, what didn't happen. Ryan. Well, Ryan. Yeah. All that. Mm-hmm. Like, so I he did a video. I can't watch Ryan's videos anymore because they piss me the fuck off. I and I don't blame Acal. That vlog video that Ryan put out where he was talking shit about both Mises and Acal, it was hard for me to go and pull that video, man. I I couldn't watch it for my own personal view. I so but when I did the video outing Ryan for disrespecting Alpha Tyler, basically disrespecting an army vet, which he did, and then uh doing the um what was it, the the part one of this conversation where I had to take the the uh, clip where, you know, he basically you know was talking talking reckless and being stupid. It was hard, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like he he is a totally different person. Whether people want to acknowledge it or not, whether you know, what I mean, people want to still be in denial about it or not. There is no denying that Church is a completely different person. Hanging out with Caskey now, Caskey who has a song, and you can look this up by the way. He has a song. Where he openly talks about, you know, beating up his girl. So congratulations, Ryan. You are really batting a thousand with these people that you're coming into contact with. You're shouting out a guy who talks to teenage boys on the internet, and then you're hanging out with a dude who has no problems beating up women. Hmm. Yeah. <sighs> Man. I hate to say it again, but I mean, you are the company that you keep at the end of the day. I'm just saying. Yeah. Well, that, well I didn't that... watch that whole video. That's what went down. Like, like Ryan says, no, nah, he's never been to my house. I don't know him. Like, all this stuff. And then, like... Well, now again, you know what Ryan's going to do with that is he's going to twist it and turn it to make it... Well, yeah, that doesn't mean I know him. Yes, he's met him multiple fucking times. He's commented on his fucking posts on Instagram. He's fucking got videos of... I mean, he was in the studio with us before at Stoner's old studio. I mean, yes, these things have happened. There you go. Mises and Ryan do know each other. And here's the biggest... The biggest clue that everyone seems to be overlooking when it comes to recognizing the fact that these two know each other, talking about Ryan and Mises, they have each other's phone numbers. So what, would you just give anyone your phone number these days? You realize how stupid that makes Church look by saying he doesn't know this guy, even though he has his number and Church has given Mises his number? You realize how stupid that makes him look. So please make that make sense. And that's another thing. When, 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 when Ryan's dissing Tom, right, and he's saying certain lines, he's saying certain lines in the song, right, and mm-hmm. he's, like, standing on a tank with no whatever, whatever. I'm on that tank. You don't think he was subliminally fucking sending that shot towards me? You don't think, I, you don't, hold on, you don't think that he fucking is sending a shot at Tom hoping that I get involved so me and him can battle? You don't think that all this is about for, for me and him to go at it? Yeah, see, that makes perfect sense. He couldn't get at Adam directly. So he goes in on Tom, creating a fake beef with Tom to hopefully get Adam involved into the mix by firing subliminal hits at Adam. Yeah, Adam was the one standing on the tank, like he said. And he Ryan said something about, yeah, a dude standing on the tank. It's like, dude, 
I don't get it. You're you're the you're you're the best rapper, right? You're this top tier rapper and everything, but yet you're afraid to call A Cal out by name. You're afraid to call Mises out by name. And then look what happened. Mises came back at you, knowing full well that you fired a subliminal shot at him in Red Rum. So he came back at you straight up with your name in the title, saying your name in uh dying church right making all the references and all his references are backed by facts and receipts and there were direct shots at you he said your name which goes to show you that mises has a bigger set on him than you do and as of this recording you have yet to respond to him you've been quiet more uh more of the uh concert for the crickets i'll tell i'll tell you this this is my this is my personal take anybody can quote it quote me for it whatever later on i don't i don't care I said from the beginning, I'm like, some of the shit he was saying on Instagram when that Wild Boys track dropped was a little bit sketch. And I was like, it feels like it's going to multiple people. But I didn't say shit about it publicly because I'm not trying to stir shit. And I'm like, he said in an Instagram reel, he wasn't talking about Adam. And surely Ryan would not be bitch enough to be talking about Adam and then say publicly that he was not talking about Adam. I said that. I said that's multiple people that I know. And so and, video, and I let it go. See, there's so much shit that you guys don't fucking know that go. <laughs> and I'm sure he's gonna say he's gonna air all that shit out because that's what he does. Yeah. That's what he does. Yeah. You you you. He's like, oh, I don't I don't even promote my fucking albums. Motherfucker, every time you drop an album, you fucking stir up a bunch of fucking. Isn't don't you find it? See. Did I not say the same thing? Every time he drops an album, he's got beef with somebody. Blue Jeans too. He had beef with A Cal and Tom. First Blue Jeans, he had beef with his mom. Cricket Three is about to drop, and now he's got beef with with Mises, A Cal. You know what I'm saying? And and some of the OG Crease Waters. So yeah, don't tell me this dude don't be promoting his shit because like Adams just said right now, as as I've said and as Mises has said. There's always drama around this guy whenever an album is about to drop. So who is Ryan Upchurch to say, oh, you know, who, you guys be, be stirring up some shit, you know what I mean, and what, because you got a new album dropping? Dude, that is you. That is you deflecting. That is you projecting your image onto others. That is what you do. I got a new album coming out. You see me stirring up shit with somebody? No. Drops in June 10th, by the way, called Welcome to My Madhouse. It's fucking weird. Uh, pre-save link is in the description down below by the way whatever later on i don't i don't care i said from the beginning i'm like some of the shit he was saying on instagram when that wild boys track dropped was a little bit sketch and i was like it feels like it's going to multiple people but i didn't say shit about it publicly because i'm not trying to stir shit and i'm like he said in an instagram reel he wasn't talking about adam and surely ryan would not be bitch enough to be talking about adam and then say publicly that he was not talking about Adam. I said that. I said that's multiple people that I know. And so and, video, and I let it go. See, there's so much shit that you guys don't fucking know that go. <laughs> and I'm sure he's gonna say he's gonna air all that shit out because that's what he does. That's what he does. He you you you. He's like, oh, I don't I don't even promote my fucking albums, motherfucker. Every time you drop an album, you fucking stir up a bunch of fucking. Isn't don't you find it fucking weird that he fucking dropped those diss tracks right as his album's dropping? Mm -hmm. That's how you promote your fucking shit by drama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, how come whenever that. there's drama, Ryan's there? Yep. He fucking posted something and said, "Hey, any reactors that have any questions about drama or go, what's going on in the industry? Why would you say that to lead off with? Anyone, mm -hmm. Any any reactors that got any questions about drama? What you think this dude is a man? In that video he made of mine, he said, "I'm a better man than you, bro. You not a man. You're not a man." Facts. He's not you even half a man. He's not even half a man. Cause what man? Stirs up a bunch of drama, you know what I mean, to promote his records. I don't recall a time when Acal stirred up drama when he would drop a record, unless there's something that I missed. I mean, feel free to, and and don't try to make up some shit either, man. Have receipts, have something that I can look into, cause like like I said, man, I don't recall Acal ever stirring up some shit. I don't, I don't recall Mises stirring up any shit whenever he would drop an album. Fucking child who doesn't exist without the internet, motherfucker. Period. Yep. The internet can go off right fucking now. Guess what? I'll be at work. See ya. 
I mean, I feel you. I, I, I no. The, the, what the thing is is everyone feels what I'm saying in the fucking con- they know this is the truth. Yeah. Yeah. No, I feel you. Um. <laughs> I mean, I mean, the thing is, the problem is like, like it's it's a, it's a handful of grown men in the world because a lot of people, a lot of people kind of look at the disconnect on the Tim? internet and all that. Baja blast. Tim's always drinking that Mountain Dew. I'm He's not a Tyler, my bedroom. No, nah, it, it's cool. Favorite. But here's the problem, like, like this this whole conversation. I want to, I, 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 I know we ain't like talking to the chat right now, but I want to address the chat because this whole conversation, this is how grown men talk to each other. Okay. Yeah. I spent eight years in the army. Tim spent over twenty. Like, I'm gonna tell you, when you're in the military and you're in high stakes, like, like high, uh, your your testosterone's kicking, whatever. This is how men you come in a room fucking yelling yep. and you either go to blows or you resolve it through a conversation yep. and you end up either way. You end up with respect for each other, having mm-hmm. a civil conversation at the end of it. Actual fact, factual Tyler's not wrong. Like I said, yeah, it's in our nature. You just got to let us handle our business. Ladies, you don't have to like it. You don't have to love it. You don't have to agree with it, but that's just our nature. You have your own way of doing things. Well, guess what? Us men, we have our way of doing things. You know what I mean? It's just in our nature. It's just it's just how it is. Just let us handle our business. You know what I mean? And just hope and pray that, you know, it ends well regardless. If it comes to blows like Tyler said or if it's just a heated argument that ends up, you know, getting resolved. You know what I'm saying? The best thing for you to do, stay out of the way. Just hope and pray that no matter what, it ends well at the end. You know what I mean? With us men having, as Tyler said, having a newfound uh, mutual respect for each other. You know what I'm saying? And have a civil discussion after the fact. Literally, for for some people, we're in a time right now where people, everybody talking about, oh, this shit's disrespectful. This shit, like, stop being so aggressive. This is how men talk to each (laughs) other. Yeah. Yeah. This is how men, this is how men talk to each other at the end of the day it doesn't fucking matter if it sounds nice to you it doesn't matter if i say something like sideways and to to tyler's point i'll tell you this much and tyler can vouch for this too um if he wants to in my comment section me and him have shouting matches with each other we've cursed each other out we told each other fuck you at at some point but then at the end of all these these arguments you know the these, these shouting matches and everything we come out of it better friends, you know what I'm saying, with with, with that, with a more uh, mutual respect towards each other and a more mutual love for each other, you know what I'm saying? Bruh, that's why me and Tyler, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll tell you, yeah, we are, you know, each other's best friend on this platform, you know what I'm saying? Even though I have yet to go visit this man in Kentucky, which I really need to do, and uh, hopefully that'll happen in the not-so-distant future, um, and that's why me and him, you know what I mean, we got some stuff in the works, you know what I'm saying, whether we're teaming up with Strange you know, for, uh, you know, the horror story that, that, that we're supposed to be working on. Tyler, I need those damn lines from you for your character. Um, and uh, that's why me and him, we got music projects in, in the works as well. We're working on new music together and everything. You know what I mean? I'm just saying, man, case in point, we are that example of men having shouting matches. You know what I mean? Cursing each other out or cussing each other out. I, I, I know he hates when people use the term cursing, um, which I understand. So, yeah, cussing each other out, shouting at each other, whatever the case, you know what I mean? But yet, give us time or whatever, and it always ends on a positive note with us having that mutual respect for each other and that love for each other. You know what I'm saying? We're Brodies at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Brodies fight sometimes. It happens. Anyway. That hits you the wrong way. If you don't like that, that's cool. You don't have to watch me. Well, there are a bunch of fucking liberals. In the fucking comments? <laughs> no, 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 no. A lot of people, too, and, and I was saying this earlier, a lot of people are, like, backing you up. I'm not talking to the whole chat. And I was one of those people that was backing up Adam, by the way. And uh, if Adam happens to be watching this, Adam, I was the one who uh, DM'd you uh, uh, on IG. and I hit you up in IG DMs with that Captain Kurt live that Ryan was on. So, yeah. I'm I'm that guy. <laughs> you know how it goes. Like in a live chat, yeah. It's like it's like the smallest voice is the one that you focus on the most sometimes. I just want to point out I'm I'm making this statement to the minority of people who are upset. I'm not talking to like the whole chat because there are a lot of people. Comment, yeah, Adam comes to the chat yelling, motherfucker, this is how I talk, bro. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. Like, like how many times Yeah, and you see how like like Tyler is loud? I'm loud too sometimes. That's just how we talk. That's just how we are.
Uh, anybody who knows me in real life, how many times have I walked into a conversation with you and been like, hey, motherfucker, like, like, or, or whatever? Dog, that's just how you talk sometimes. It's so crazy, like, too. People are still talking about Tom. I'm more American than you. You hang out with Tom. Motherfucker, have you ever met Tom in real life? Has any of you in that fucking ever met Tom in real fucking life? Nope. nope. Okay. So let me tell you something about Tom real quick. Because I thought going out there, I'm like, man, this dude ain't going to fucking... This dude's gonna. This dude ain't gonna fucking be able to keep up with me. This dude ain't, ain't about fucking. That's what I'm thinking. I'm. I'm thinking. I'm gonna make this dude show me who the fuck he is. I get out there. This dude runs miles, five miles at least every fucking day with me. Fuck fucking that. dude lifts with me every fucking day. Not once did he ever fucking quit on me ever. Not fucking one fucking time. If anything, he pushed me and I pushed him. We, dude. Tom is whoever the fuck he is on the internet to the, to you guys. Tom in, in real life, that motherfucker is not going to quit on you and is a loyal fucking friend. And that's a fucking fact. Damn. That's a fucking fact. Damn. I would fucking pick Tom in a fucking alley in a street fight over a lot of motherfuckers that I know. Damn. Damn. And that's saying something. And that's how I assess who I want to yeah. be around. No, that's the thing. I mean, I've said public. I used to be a huge fan of Tom. That was before I even knew your music. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I used to be a huge fan of Tom. That was like before even like the Mac Lethal shit or whatever. And like, I was a fan of Tom. For me, like with Tom's music, and I never like I never went on a fuck Tom crusade. I just stopped reacting to his stuff mostly because I was like, okay, like you're reacting to the same song over and over. Listen, I don't. I listen Tom's music. Is Tom's music. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. But it's still not fuck Tom. You know what I'm saying? Like, I step back from it because because I don't want to say the same shit in 20 reactions. But it's not. Hey. It's same. Same. That's why I stopped reacting to Tom's music. It's the same political song over and over and over again. And I don't want to sound like a nutcase just repeating myself over and over again. So, yeah, I totally feel where Tyler's coming from on this. Hey, like, it's no hate. Tom's music is is Tom's music. He he knows what he's doing, how yeah. he wants to come across, and and what he's delivering. He knows how to market you, like a motherfucker. I will tell you this right fucking now. Tom is a better rapper than Ryan. Ooh. Tom would fucking hurt Ryan in a fucking battle. Chuck Ooh. would hurt Ryan in a fucking battle. John and uh, Chuck, aka Mises, um has proven that he can handle himself in a battle church ain't proven yeah we've seen church battle people like you know like screw face and um that's about it right i mean he only battled with, with screw face he went back and forth with screw face and that's about it um yeah i don't recall any other rap battles that ryan has been in i know he's he's dissed several people i mean yeah he's dissed tom tom didn't respond to him uh, which I still feel like he should have, you know what I mean, to prove himself. Um, but now we're at a point where, okay, we got Mises who called out Ryan, and Ryan has yet to respond. So Ryan, as far as I'm concerned, is, is not proven still in a battle. He, Because now he's he, you have a real legit rapper in Mises calling him out, and if Ryan doesn't respond, then to me, it, it, it exposes Ryan for his lack of skills in the rap game. If you can't go up against an actual rapper, a real rapper who came up in the battle rap scene, dog, you you ain't proven. And therefore, maybe it's you who should not be in this lane. John would hurt Ryan in a fucking battle. I would hurt Ryan in a fucking battle. We're talking about rap, hip hop. Every motherfucker that you see me around are really really good rappers. Ryan doesn't hang around fucking good rappers. John, John's a really good fucking rapper. Yeah. yeah. Uh, John Brodnax. Yeah, Brodnax, Papa himself, man. Yo, Papa is fire. Papa got bars. Like, <laughs> bars for days. And yeah, Adam can go too. Adam, I could tell, he is, he is battle tested, man. He can go if he really wanted to. Again, he did the Huck Fozier diss. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, whoo, whoo, 
I'm probably gonna go listen to that after this. Uh, cause man, shit is fire. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, to Adam's point, and I think this is what, what I'm, I'm getting at, but to Adam's point, yeah, I mean, all these guys, yeah, they they are battle tested rappers. You could tell, you could tell they can go at any time. Struggle is a, is is an amazing rapper. You know what I'm saying? He's got bars. Jelly Roll's proven he's got bars. So I mean, yo, you want to be about it? You know what I'm saying? You want to be proven? You need to go up against some real ones, dude. And he says it's that real one who's called, who's you know is ready to go. Called you out. So now it's time for you to holla back, Mr. Holla Boy. Who else? The only way you get better at rap is by being around motherfuckers that are better than you. Yes, true. I see the comments. Decline, decline, decline. Why, uh, Mr. Ultra? I mean, bro, Ryan is is cool for what he does. He, Ryan is not a fucking hip hop head rapper. That's not him. No. You want to talk about country rap, motherfucker? There's motherfuckers in country rap that'll knock his fucking head off in rapping. Mm hmm. What are we True. talking about here? Ryan is 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 something different, an artist that no one's ever seen before. But that doesn't mean he's better ra at rapping than any of these other fucking guys. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm not knocking the man. He has talent. He definitely has talent. But specifically in rap and hip hop, he he is not battle tested. You know what I'm saying? Just because he supposedly body tom and i still feel like technically he did body tom because tom didn't respond you know what i'm saying um the he he went up against screw that was only his his one real true rap battle was with screw face john and that was it he he doesn't really have too many battles or or anything under, under his belt to really say he's yeah, he's one of the best rappers out there. It's just, yeah, he, he is a good rapper. I'm not taking that away from him. He is a good rapper. He does have good rap and hip-hop songs, without a doubt. But as far as a best battle rapper, a best diss rapper, I'm sorry. I, I, don't, I don't think it's fair to put him in that argument because, again, he's not truly tested. Yeah. I mean, I'll, 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 I like I'll Ryan's. I like rap. I like Ryan's you? music, but as far as like a a bar for bar technical rapper, hold, I mean, on, any, this, hold it, on, hold on, someone just said, "Oh my God, Adam didn't just say that he could beat Ryan in a rap battle." Are you fucking crazy? Here's what happens. Let me let me tell you, fucking some of you, you found morons. The chat, yo. Let me let me tell you some of you morons in the fucking comments. You want to know what happens if me and Ryan do rap battles back and forth? Want to know what happens? absolutely fucking nothing he doesn't win i don't win the only people that win are the fucking fans and at the end of the day it there doesn't hurt go. either one of our fucking careers i don't know how what you guys fucking think but that's what's actually going to happen yeah no i don't think it impacts that's that's it, why it i said it was even silly hurt. he doesn't fucking do nothing to either one of our careers yeah that's, well that's, that's why i said it was silly earlier uh somebody was up in here saying that that Ryan could end Mises's career, and I'm like, That's no, he literally couldn't. He literally couldn't. Mm -mm. Like, as long as the internet exists, nobody can end anybody's career. That's Facts. that's the that's the beautiful thing about the internet. Like Facts. none of this shit. Like rap battles are entertaining for fans. A at this point, this shit wouldn't even be entertaining for me though, because I actually care about the people in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like as humans. And that's the thing. That's where that's where it would be no fun for me to watch you and Ryan go back and forth. It would be no fun for me to watch Ryan and, and Mises go back and forth. Like, especially Mises, dog. Like, like a hundred percent. I consider that guy one of my closest friends on earth. You know what I'm saying? Like, like Chuck is a fucking rapper, bro. He's yeah, I know, I, I know he is, but that's what I'm saying. Like, in my heart, to me, it would not be fun for me to watch him and Ryan go back and forth. I probably wouldn't even react to the shit. No, you know what I'm saying? What, this is what these motherfuckers want to see. You know why? Because in real life, they think I'm a fucking... They think I'm... Some of these soft-ass motherfuckers think I'm an asshole. So they want to see Ryan do... They think I fucking did something... Actual factuals. I mean, I, I hate to say it, but I'm with Adam on that. If you think he's an asshole, if you think he, he he's a dick, you're soft. It, it goes to show just how soft you are and how overly sheltered you are so bad to ryan and ryan's this perfect fucking human that that they want to see that okay okay then do it end my fucking end my whole career all Get i'm saying out of here all i'm saying is like and and i'm with you like 
if you did something so bad to him, I haven't seen receipts on it. Like, like maybe Same. tomorrow I'll say fuck Adam because there's receipts, and I'm like, yeah, dog, that was fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I agree. Want to know something? I can at least say I'm sorry. Mm. Oh no, you're good. I was done. No, no, mm-hmm. I'm, not, I'm saying I would at least be able to say I'm sorry, and I hope he would be able to yeah. too. And yeah. that's what my whole video was about. Because I am not perfect, and neither is he. True. True. Yeah. No. Nobody. Nobody's perfect and shit. All, all I'm saying is, at the end of the day, everybody egging all this shit on only does it for drama because they want yeah. views out of it. They yeah. want the fucking entertainment value out of it. There's mm-hmm. a certain point, though, if you actually like, like care about somebody, if you actually care about the fucking overall view of everything, that you don't want to see this shit go down that way because it's lame, man. It is lame. And, uh, let me see. I might have to do a jump cut here since Adam was, uh, I think he was kicked off, but they let him back up. So Tim like Adam said, people got families and shit. Brian was the first independent artist to really catch fire. As That's not true though. Years. Later. It might be different. Okay. Never mind about the junk cut. Yeah. You see how delusional some of these church dick writers are. They they want to act. They want to say, "Oh, stupid shit!" Like Ryan was the first independent artist to really catch fire. As of ten plus years later, uh, it might be different. Acal is unreal, and I love where where it is. Um, okay, no, Ryan is not the first independent artist to really blow up. I mean, you act like th- th- this guy in- practically invented the the freaking genre, which no, he did not. Oh my God, these people are delusional as all hell. Ugh. But um, then has nobody heard of Tech Nine? Tech Nine is, well, no, I would say say still is the biggest independent artist that there was, and he came before Church. So you had guys like Tech Nine who who did that, right? Uh, you had guys like like Macklemore. Whether you like Macklemore or not doesn't matter. He but he came before. You know what I mean? And he was one of the biggest uh, independent artists out there. Even though he's not doing anything now, I don't think. Uh, but still, you know, there's plenty of artists that came before Ryan. Ryan is not the end all be all. He's not the alpha and the omega. You know what I mean? People need need to, need to quit that shit, man. Bruh. For eight cows unreal and I love where it is. Was Technon not huge way before Ryan? Thank you. I remember listening to Technon in the in the late two thousands. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. I remember listening to Tech Nine in the in the mid two thousands. Like I think I was introduced to him by my brother in law to Tech Nine's music back in I want to say about two thousand three two thousand four somewhere around there. Um, but yeah, and by by twenty tens he was already like one of the biggest independent artists out there, dude. And that was before Up Church. Okay, so get over yourselves. I'm just saying he was independent. Yep. Still is. We lost Adam. That's what I'm saying. Like talking about independent artists, Ryan was not the first independent artist. And I'm not knocking you, Tim. I'm just saying not you, Tim. The Tim there. Tim Tim Lawrence. Lawrence. I got you. I got you. I got you. I'm not knocking you, Tim. I'm just saying Ryan was not the first independent artist to catch traction. Ryan ain't even the biggest independent artist there's ever been. You know what I'm saying? Like That's Technon true. was way bigger fucking a decade before Ryan had anything. Yep. I don't know where I just went. Listen. I know I said a lot of things in this live, but I, I'm not a hater. Like, for example, like Caskey, and I know this is way off topic. Who and Caskey is apparently Ryan's new bestie, by the way. <laughs> there was a time when Caskey talked some shit about Ryan, and I saw that shit, and I was like, "Whoa, that ain't happening!" Because I was riding with Ryan, how everyone else is riding with Ryan. No one could say shit to me about Ryan. Mm. So I fucking intervened and was like, "Hey, you want real smoke, motherfucker? Let's get it, right?" Now them two, Ryan bumps his music and he follows them. But and before it was like I don't know where that's. But, but Caskey is a dope rapper. I don't I don't know him personally. I don't I don't think I'd get along with him in real life. But I'm never gonna deny that motherfucker can rap his fucking ass off. Yellow Wolf, I've been around him. Uh, I don't share any of the same. I think any views in life as him. Fucking crazy dope rapper. Motherfucker's hmm. insane. He's the second best. Dude, Yellow Wolf is fire as fuck, man. I love me some Yellow Wolf, man. Um, I, Adam, I, I, I could probably answer the the mysterious question as to why Ryan is hanging out with Kasky now. It's because you two did have a little bit of a beef back and forth. You made um 
vlog videos in regards to Caskey. You poke fun of him for wearing that that long blouse <laughs> that that he wore a while back, uh, and because so and because you don't like Caskey or whatever, you you don't think you'll get along with him. That's why Ryan is hanging out with him. At least in my opinion, I feel like that's why Ryan is now hanging out with Caskey. It's all out of spite. White rapper alive. Yellow Wolf is dope as fuck. He's, the, he's literally the second best Yellow white rapper alive. And I don't, I don't want to say white rapper, but I mean, he's probably top 25 to 30 of all time hit rap, period. Uh, I'm I'm not, look, Ryan, what Ryan has done, almost no one will ever duplicate ever. Ryan's mm. done some dope shit. I wasn't yeah. trying to take away from that with what I said. No, no, no. I'm not either. saying, but I'm saying to make it clear. I have every single, this is the first time I've ever said, this is the first time that I have ever said publicly anything negative about Ryan on the internet. Am I wrong? No, nah, that's yeah. the first time I've seen. Okay. But I will say, Ryan, what he has done <laughs> in his career will probably never be duplicated ever again he is a pioneer in what he has done and created mm. he is an anomaly yeah he is a lot of things and in his real personal life he is a lot of things and is able to do a lot of things mm. but at the end of that sentence there is i will never be scared of another man or ending my career or any of that fucking shit that's not how i got here i wouldn't be here if i had that mind frame yeah yeah Absolutely. So, what? Whatever, man. All the bullshit. There you go. I just everyone's asking, why is Adam being quiet? Why fuck it, motherfucker? Because I was trying to be peaceful. Apparently, I'm not. When I'm peaceful, I'm being a bitch, and when I'm on this, I'm being too loud. What do you guys you, want from me? Yeah, it's like he's damned if he does and damned if he doesn't. It's like there, there's no winning, winning with a cow. You know what I'm saying, bro? And that's and again, that's not fair, dude. If People need need to get over themselves, get off of their high horses, and recognize their own bias. You know what I'm saying? Um, especially those who are like, "Well, I'm Team Ryan in all this." When, dude, there's no Team Ryan in anything. And even Ryan has said again on Captain Kurtz Live, "Why do people feel a need to choose teams? You don't even have to choose my team." So there you go. If Church says you don't have to choose his team, then there's no choosing teams in some in in shit like this. Especially when you know the the uh, the uh, shit is fake shit. So all y'all who are like, oh, I'm Team Upchurch, I'm Team Ryan, in, in, in this fake shit, y'all is fake as fuck, man. For real. You can't do anything right on the internet. That's nope. like... Well, I literally said at the beginning of the show that I quoted Alpha Tyler because we spoke earlier today. He said, think about this. When all of this shit went down between Church and McDonald, Adam hasn't said anything negative. Nope. He hasn't spoke on it. Nope. When the stuff with Mises, he hasn't spoke Hold on, on Tim, it. Can I stop you right there? You know why I didn't speak on it? Why? Because Ryan sent me a fucking video saying, hey, I'm about to do this. And and said some other things. And I, okay, that's why. So am I being a middleman there or am I being a friend? Being a friend. Friend. So I got people. Now, while he's doing this, I got people talking shit to me. And I'm holding my tongue for my friend. Oh, how come Adam ain't saying anything? Oh, Adam doesn't want to get involved. Oh, Adam's scared. Adam's scared Ryan's going to say something about him. No. No, that's not it. That wasn't it at all. But what I was getting at was Tyler said, you know, Adam, is he's always quick to pop off. He's always aggressive. He's yeah. always, yeah. I'm going to rip your fucking head off and no shit down his neck. Yeah. You know, he's the aggressive guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He says, but you haven't heard anything from him. Yep. Yeah. Why yeah. hasn't anybody given him credit for taking the high road? Yeah, yeah, nobody. No, <laughs> and that's why lately I've been giving Adam credit for taking the high road for keeping his nose clean. You know what I mean? And that's why I've been jumping to his defense because, yeah, I I believe that he's being unfairly attacked. You know what I mean? For doing the right thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or doing what he felt was the right thing to do, and that's not saying anything. You know what I mean? Just staying out of the the uh, the drama, staying out of the bullshit. You know, whatever issues Ryan and Tom had, that's between Ryan and Tom. Let them, you know, deal with it. That's that's their business. That's their shit. You know what I mean? Bruh, Adam was just, again, staying out of it. Being a friend. Staying out of it. Because he, he liked both Ryan and Tom. He was cool with both of them. So, when again, so put, again, put yourself in this situation, right? 
you got two people, right, who are your friends, but they don't like each other, so therefore they're going at it. What do you do? You stay out of it. It's like uh, that that just in time philosophy. You know what I mean? When mommy and daddy are going at it, you have you have love and respect for both of them. So what do you do? You stay out of it and you let them deal with the situation on their own, between themselves, amongst themselves. And it sounds like that's what Adam did in regards to Church and Tom. And yet people kept going at Adam for not saying anything. That's not right. No matter who you are, who you're who you. Who you're a fan of, whose side, whose side you're choosing, doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you got to recognize, you know, Adam was placed in a very fucked up situation. That was not his fault. <laughs> First of all, all those things that you just said about me, I hate that about me. <laughs> no, I'm serious. It, it's no offense was intended no, when it, I said no, it. Well, There's, say no why, why I hate it? That That's who I, you are as an no, individual. No, it isn't because so, that's not who I am as an individual. And that's why I can't wait to see you because... You're going to nope. find out that that's not me as an individual. Okay, so let me ask you a question. If somebody came at your one of your kids, yeah, come would on, you man. not be that way? Come on, man. Come on. Okay, that's... but I'm just saying, yes or no? Yeah, mother... Yes, I'm yeah, exactly. going to prison for sure, yes. Exactly. So that's who you are. You're going to be that way to protect your own. Yeah, see, when it comes to your own, yeah, there, there's no shame in being that aggressive motherfucker, you know what I mean, who will have his foot on somebody's neck should should somebody dare mess with whether it's his family you know what i mean his wife his kids you know what i mean or his his friends anyone and everyone you know what i mean that that's close to him obviously he's gonna he's gonna go to bat for he's gonna risk going to jail for because that's the kind of friend that he is that's someone that you want in your corner that's the kind of man i would want in my corner to have my back and i would do the same for him and that's how it should be yes and there's nothing yes. wrong with that but you're the same there's way. Not, yeah, I am the same way. Yeah, so, but it, there's but, nothing wrong with being no, hot headed. There's nothing wrong with being aggressive. But there's I nothing wrong with that. But I sometimes uh, I would have to somewhat disagree and agree at the same time. Like, like, like some things. There's a time and a place for it. Yes. So yes, there is a time where being a hot head. Yes, being that aggressive motherfucker. Yes, it is needed. But again, time and place. Time and place. Anyway, that's just my time. Sometimes I'm like that when I don't need to be in the wrong, in the, in the, in the, I need to know when to turn that shit off when I don't need to be like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's, that. Yeah, I feel like, that. Like, I understand that. Like a comment, man, I don't need to be mad at that fucking comment. Live your life, bro. Thanks for leaving your fucking fucked up comment. You don't even know who the let fuck. Me, let me tell you what my dad used to tell me. He said, when anytime somebody says something to you negative, he said, kill them with kindness. Say yes. thank you. That's the nicest thing somebody said to me at all day. Have yes. a blessed day, Cletus. Yeah. And that's gonna piss them off even more because they didn't get yep. underneath your skin. Yep. Facts. Facts. When you got a troll, you know what I mean, or some miserable prick poking at you and whatever, trying to get underneath your skin, like Tim said, like his like, like his daddy told him, kill him with kindness. Respond to them in kindness. You know what I'm saying? It's, and that's what I do sometimes to trolls on my, my comment thread. Sometimes I kill them with kindness. Sometimes I hit them with, with, with some logic. And what do they do? They they, they, they freaking scat, dude. Yeah, I, 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 I agree 100%. So just like when you put the comment after uh, fight music and you said what you said, thank you. That's the nice thing somebody said to me all day. What did I say? Um, it's obviously you don't like my music. Y'all are um, trying to to ruin two f people's friendship there's more to this something about what y'all do behind the scenes we don't know about something like that well the there, there is a lot of shit behind the scenes that happens that I, apparently ryan doesn't give a fuck about what happens behind the scenes he talks about it so it's like i, I don't know i was brought up like you you don't talk you don't fucking video people and voice record people and do all that fucking like what that's like police officer type shit yeah exactly man that's some that's some rat shit you know what i mean that's some snitch shit right there if you're collecting information on people by recording them in any kind of way audio video it doesn't matter dude that is some dude you are showing the world your true colors you're, you're showing everyone that, that you're a rat you're a snitch bruh so it's like I feel like there's certain things that 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 doesn't need to be aired out on the fucking internet, especially if you know a mm -hmm. motherfucker. For and real. I've tried to do that. I've tried to do that. Yeah. Uh, because I think that's some bitch shit going back and forth on the fucking internet. I and I agree wholeheartedly with that. Um. 
We had that conversation a couple of years ago too, Tim. Yeah, but, we did. But now, now we're gonna see. Now we're gonna see. Uh, and I don't give a fuck, man. I I don't care. I, it's just this has been this has been something I've been carrying around for the past couple months, and I'm done. Like fuck it all. Like I like. And and maybe there's a reason why you came up here. Everything I came happens up here for a that reason. Loud mouth with the fucking blue shirt just talking. What like I'm a saying dumbass. is, what I'm saying is, <laughs> <laughs> fucking Brandon. <laughs> oh man, Brandon ruined the the uh, the uh, chant. Let's go, Brandon, for me. Because now every time I hear "Let's go, Brandon," I'm gonna think of that asshole. Everything I, happens for a reason. Maybe you had to come up here to get out of that all. And I better not get any Brandon is the goat comments in my comment section. Looking at you, Alpha Tyler. Cause uh, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna respond. What really is the goat? Off of your chest, and now you can go to sleep at night with ease oh, and not you know what? worried tomorrow, about all that shit. And the next day, or whatever the fuck day, whenever Ryan decides to fucking make his gay ass little video, here we go. Now I gotta play on the internet with Ryan, cause that's how it's gonna go. No, dog. you don't. You don't. Yeah, and see, Adam got that half right. He said, you know, Ryan's gonna put out his uh, his little stupid video. About me, which he did again, that stupid vlog where he was talking on Adam and Mises. And, uh, but, but as Tim was about to get into, Adam does not have to play Ryan's game, he doesn't have to. You know, what I mean, Ryan doesn't need help doing stupid, he's doing a perfectly fine job on his own. He lost 50k, 50k OG Creakers that unsub from his channel. So, Ryan doesn't need help destroying himself he's doing a fine job on his own you know what i'm saying he's wrecking himself he's wrecking his image his brand by doing questionable things and saying questionable shit you don't have to okay you'll see you'll see i already know yeah. I, bro i've been i understand what you're saying but i'm saying you don't have to do it yeah well I, i'm pretty sure he's gonna make it so i have to do it so let's get it i'm done fucking around let's fucking get this fucking shit cracking already Cause I, I mean, let's go. Like, like I said months ago in that comment. See, and I get where Adam's coming from, man. He, he doesn't like to back down. And I'm that guy too, man. And that's why I've been going back and forth with church, even though I don't like doing it the internet way. But like I said, who am I to Ryan up church? I'm not that closely connected to him. So the only way I have to communicate with him is through the internet. You know what I'm saying? So I have to say something with someone that big, you know what I'm saying? is is going at me so there you go man yo air me the fuck out air me out let's get it oh look adam's scared he's he's admitting that he motherfucker what am i admitting i'm saying if you got a problem air that shit out oh i want to protect your family motherfucker you don't give a fuck about my family or anyone else's family air me the fuck out mm -hmm. i if you if i i've done that you do that for real, stop being a whole bitch, dude. If you got shit on Adam, put it out there, all right? Otherwise, shut the fuck up like the man has told you. Keep his name out your mouth, and he'll keep it the same with you. It's that simple. Damn, why do I feel like I'm talking to Mokon? <laughs> wrong. Air me the fuck out. Let's get it. So we're going to see. I ain't trying to just... I'm telling you right now, everyone's talking about uh, uh, fucking raps of sport and all that. I agree. Sports got contact. Sport has contact, motherfuckers. Yep. So <laughs> I'm willing to go... That. You said that in a song today. I really did say that. And I'm willing to go all the motherfucking way with it, dog. All the fucking way. I got the same friends I've had for fucking 30 fucking years. Let's get it. See, that right there tells me a lot about Adam. He's got the same friends, as he said, for over 30 years. How many friends does Ryan have, you know, from his childhood days? It's just I'm, I'm just asking questions, you know what I mean? What are, we, what are we doing? Or let's just fucking shut the fuck up and fucking be men and talk about it like men. For real. This internet shit is gay. It is. I've been quiet after I seen that one video, then the next video, then these stories on his IG, and then this video. No, I'm done. That's you poked me three times. I'm done. Mm -hmm. That's what he's used to. He's used to poking people and fucking get, mobbing on them with his fucking little creek squad. Fucking people go over there and fucking going in the comments and all that fucking bullshit. That's fucking gay faggot ass shit. And, and you know what's funny is that he tried to do that shit to me, but then when he saw that I was able to poke back and I have more people supporting me than him, what did he do? He ghosted me. <laughs> it's it's kind of sad if you think about it, because look, this is a guy that we're talking about who has over 3 million subs. I only have over 11K subs, and yet you got owned by me. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because more people have my back than they had yours, which should tell you something. I'm just saying. Come troll me in real life, dog. Troll yes. me in real life. Yeah. <laughs> Tim, when are you available? For what? I don't know what your what your life consists of. What do you mean for what? So I can come down there. I, well, I work Monday through Friday. All right. Well, what's that? Can you send me your? Can you? If you send me your number through this chat, or will someone see that? Fuck, my number's already out there. It don't matter. I'll just send it to you on IG. You're a good man, Tim. You're a fair man. I've said that before in your comments. I know you've seen it. All right, so see how we're getting closer to the end of the conversation. And look and look where we're at with the conversation. Everyone's good with each other. Everyone is being very complimentary, being very respectful towards each other. So you see? Proves my point. You let these you you let the men deal with their issues. And look what happens, man. It gets resolved. It works itself out. Yeah, you have. I appreciate it. Even when you were being a dickhead, I said that. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fair man. All right, I just sent it to you. Thank you. Tyler, it was nice talking with you. Guys, listen, I don't know Tip. what's going to happen. Uh, and to be honest, I don't know that too much if I give a fuck anymore. I take it very serious, and I've, I've thought about this shit a lot, and I've stayed quiet, and it, it wasn't easy. And uh, I'm just over it, man. Adam, Mark 11, 22. Yeah. I'll check it out. Have faith in God. Four simple words. Oh, yeah. So well, that's every day. That's short. But this, this is, let's go. This is the internet. What are we talking, like, this, we've, been, we've all been through way harder, rougher shit than the internet and what the fuck mm. comes with it. Yeah. Nope, hardest thing I've ever done in my life. It was a joke. Look <laughs> at Tyler. This might be the most mentally fucking taxing thing I've ever done in my life. That's for sure. I, I don't that. know, dog. When I was when I was born with no preparation, or not when I was born, when my kid was born with no preparation whatsoever, I was supposed to be at my wife's shoulders, and the doctor tagged me in to catch the baby when it came out. That was uh, that was pretty mentally traumatizing because I just saw everything happen. Yeah, not good. <laughs> Look, this internet shit ain't shit. <laughs> uh, I, I laid paralyzed for 87 days from the waist down. And if I can survive that, you can survive this. Anybody can survive this shit. I appreciate you guys. It was nice talking to you, gentlemen. Uh, Tim, I'll be contacting you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I Have a good night, brother. Much. All right, y'all. So that's pretty much it with the conversation there. And yeah, man, shout out to Adam Calhoun. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I already gave this thing a like. <clears throat> Actually hit the like before I started this video portion. But yeah, man, see, people need to, need to quit with, with the whole judgmental nonsense, you know what I'm saying? Quick to snap at somebody because of, you know, their behavior and all this and that. It's like, dude, again, you should be speaking on the shit that you don't have full knowledge of. And I'm going to keep saying that because apparently a lot of people seem to like doing that now, nowadays, speaking on shit that they don't have full knowledge of. You know what I mean? And, and again, um, it also goes for those who like to sit on the sidelines warming a bench. You know what I mean? And be like, why is he such a dickhead? Why is he being all mean and everything? Look at look at what he's been going through ever since this shit between him and church popped off. And tell me you wouldn't be the same way if the shit happened to you. Ryan did me dirty. So if you can't understand why I'm pissed off, why I'm upset, if that's a deal with this, this little jabron over the internet, that says more about you than it does anyone else. We need to pull our collective heads out of our collective asses and truly look at the overall grand scheme of things and not just focus on the one person and act like that person right there is the end all be all. You know what I'm saying? And that, you know, again, it's the second coming and can do no wrong. Mm -mm. That, that, that's, that's a no fly zone for me. You know what I'm saying? And you're, you're not a real person if that's how you feel. And if you feel like you need to choose a team, you're not a real person either. You know what I mean? You're just you're just going with what you believe is the winning side when really there's no winning sides in any of this. Again, shout out to Adam Calhoun, man. Yo, you got to give this guy credit. Whether you love A-Cal or you hate A-Cal, it don't matter. You got to give this dude credit, man. The man came on here, you know what I'm saying? He finally let out, you know, everything that, that needed to be aired out, you know what I'm saying? And he allowed himself to be vulnerable, you know, on the internet, on an open public platform which is not the easiest thing to do man that took balls what that man did right there in that conversation that took a lot of balls you know what i'm saying so yeah much respect to acal and much respect to the two gents up here on the panel talking about none than triple t and my man alpha tyler you know what i'm saying and uh yeah 
And that's pretty much all my overall take on all this, guys. Really hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video series. Shout out to everyone that's been engaging with the content as of late. All the Mises reactions that I've been putting out. You know what I mean? All the recent videos I've been putting out. For those of you who take time out of your lives that you're not getting back to engage with me. Yo, that means the world. And I appreciate your time. And I won't take up too much more of your time. Um, so, yeah. Let me go ahead and finish off my proper closing. Um, if you guys want to watch this clip, um, I will have it linked. Uh, in the description down below uh just like i did in the in, in the part two and uh yeah <clears throat> yeah make sure y'all go show triple t some love man and let him know that your boy jgv done sent you I'm sure he would appreciate that and uh yeah don't forget to do all the youtube thank thanks for your boy here if y'all especially if you're new and you're digging the vibes links are in the description down below if you're interested in buying my my new album that's coming out it's dropping on june 10th pre-save link is in the description down below i will have hard copies that reminds me i need to harass uh alpha tyler and i'm joking about that too by the way youtube all right but the the, the uh, man and i have made this joke before in public um but yeah i need to get on alpha tyler's case about yo sending me my, my 50 copies that i can autograph so if you guys want an autograph copy which are only going to be uh 15 bucks per autograph copy by the way um base copies which alpha tyler will have uh are 10 bucks you know what i'm saying yeah try not to be uh Try not to be too too crazy with the prices, you know what I mean? Trying to be as, as fair and as nice about the prices as I possibly can. Because, you know, I get it, man. We're going through some hard times right now, some tough times. People are struggling, you know what I mean? <clears throat> but like I said, man, you can support me for free here on YouTube by doing all the YouTube things. Like I said, if you're new, if you're digging the vibes, I'll be very much appreciated either way. And it still helps me out. And, uh, yeah. All right, y'all. With all that being said, it is your boy, JJV, saying y'all take care. Have a blessed one. And I will catch y'all in the next one. All right? Peace. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you, Jason JV? What up, Jason JV? I'm just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. Jason, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? My name's Jimmy Badger. I'm going to have to do that to me. What's up, JV? Get your motherfucking head up. Uh, uh. So subscribe, tap the little bell, turn on the notifications, and if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it, yeah!